Do you want to see how to frost and decorate a cake without any special tools? Then stay tuned. If it's your first time here, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. Begin with your cake layers, and if you have cardboard, cut a piece to fit the cake. I'm using raspberries as part of the filling, but you can use whatever you like. Here's a batch of buttercream, but a nice substitute would be whipped cream, and optional, a simple lemon syrup, which is made of sugar, water, and lemon juice. You may need a serrated knife or any long knife to cut the cakes. Use a fork to poke some holes and spoon on the syrup. No worries if you don't want to deal with making syrup, but I'll put the link to the end for you just in case you want to see the recipe. Next goes the buttercream or the whipped cream. If using fruit, cover it with a generous layer of frosting to seal it in. If you want, you can trim the cake down. This exposes the sponge cake inside, which makes the perfect surface to absorb the syrup and or the fillings. You may want to trim a little off the sides as well. Using a butter knife to frost the cake works just fine, especially for this rustic look that we're going for on this cake. Work the buttercream down over the top and down the sides. No turntable, no problem. This is a plastic cutting board, which works really well as it spins around beautifully. Find a straight edge, such as this knife, to scrape the excess buttercream. And a plate is perfect for this. Shelf liner, if you have some, holds the cake in place. Now step outside and see what you can find in your garden or your yard. I found catnip, some purple vinca, not sure what the white ones are, and some greens. You'll want to wait until right before serving to place the fresh flowers and the greens on the cake. Use whatever you have in the house for edging, such as coconut, or cookie crumbs, or nuts, or graham crackers, or just leave it plain. Fresh flowers and berries are perfect for this. and you have yourself a masterpiece. Stay well everybody and I'll see you in the next video.